Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Stine and today I'm here with you for another yarn haul video. In fact, today's yarn haul video is my fifth official yarn haul from Linda Hobby and I have it here. It's just a small, small yarn haul. In fact, it's also probably a bit like an accessory haul. But it is a small order um, that I wanted to share with you guys and I'm looking forward to open it. And as you know, we cannot talk yarn and yarn related content without me having my favorite mug of tea with me. And today this tea is um, my black tea blend and it's like a loose tea blend called Long Island, which I got uh, a while back when I was visiting the city of uh, Nijmegen. Um, it's a black tea that has um, basically a black tea. It has vinipara leaves and some rose leaves and then just some natural flavored aromas. It's really good. It's um, you'd like it should have some good positive effects on your immune system and stuff like that. But yeah, so it's just it's just a, a, a nice, yeah, a nice natural blend of tea with a bit of herbs. I do enjoy it. So um, let's get into this yarn haul. This yarn haul mainly contains um, crochet hooks and one type of yarn and a few other things um, which I need for some projects I'm working on. So um, yeah, let's get it opened. And as always, they have these a polymer bag that's nice and well, well tightened up. The thing is, um, they the the bag was partially broken um, because it has a um, cardboard box inside. But uh, but yeah, let's take it out as it comes. Um, the yarn that I've ordered is a uh, drops um, baby merino, which is absolutely gorgeous and soft. I am super happy when I'm feeling this yarn. This is sweet. Oh my goodness, very scarfable, smells clean. It's it's absolutely super gorgeous. It, they classify this A, so that's a fingering weight yarn or sports sports weight, so it's a light two weight yarn. Um, they say um, to use a three millimeter um, needle or crochet hooks um and it's let's see 50 grams gives you at 175 meters it's 100 wool and it is of course a super wash treated extra fine merino wool it's this lovely light gray um it's made in the eu it's the dye lot or uh, no not dye lot it's a color 22 and the color 22 is called a light gray so i ordered this wool with a ter uh, intended purpose in mind. I found a really, really lovely sort of vest slash jacket, a bit like, you know, I have here, except this is made of uh, cloth or linen, um, but I want a crocheted one and, uh, and one that's a little bit warmer yet not too heavy. So it could be used either summer or winter, depending what not. And um, I found a pattern that uses this a baby merino, a yarn. Um, the pattern uses, well, a different color, but again, we can all choose colors as we please. I believe light gray um, goes well to me, but it also goes well with about everything that you want to combine it with, regardless if this is um, very colorful or more diluted. A light gray kind of matches with everything, just like black and white, except white gets dirty really fast and black is a bit more challenging to crochet with. But I do have a lot of black items, also even shirts or, or tops. Uh, and therefore, I like something more light to kind of spruce it up a bit. So that's why I chose for this light gray. So that's a project that I plan on working on when I have all my other projects finished that I have lined up. No, it's a project that I hope to work on and have something finished sometime before maybe fall or something like that. Um, so it's probably going to be... A project after I don't know my pouch or something else has been finished but regardless um, to be exact how many did I order of these that's actually a good question but that's the only yarn I have in this order it's all these baby merino and I let me see if I should have 
should even have like a note. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I ordered eleven of these. And except for that, I have this box, which was also in the polymer bag. So I do believe I can add all the wool back in the polymer bag, but I have 11 skeins of these skeins donuts. I think we concluded a while ago we call these donuts. So I have 11 donuts of this lovely, lovely baby merino yarn, and it is really, really soft from drops. One of the things also, you know, you can find patterns and not always use the yarn mentioned in the pattern, but here it came out well because... Um, while I have found a good pattern or nice pattern, it's called Oasis, it's also by Drops. I will link to it in the description box down below for those that's curious. But, um, you know, I also were lucky enough that this baby merino was on sale. Um, so I saved money on buying the yarn at the same time. I don't remember if it was like 20% off or something like that. Was it, it was a decent, it was a decent price. Um, so I decided it was a great opportunity to, to get some of this lovely merino yarn and I do not regret. It feels really nice and I cannot wait to start working with this and I should probably do it sooner rather than later. Um, and then we have this lovely box, of course, that I received because I also ordered some accessories and other stuff. And... Um, quick peek into my box oops it did even drop some stuff um so the thing that dropped on my table is these crafting needles from uh john james it's an english brand um there is a 33 different sized crafting needle these are needles that are well for let's say um canvas or knitters but also like just embroidery and other stuff and I need some really good needles for when I am going to uh, sew my uh, piece of a lining for my pouch together. Um, pouch clutch, whatever we should call that small bag. Um, and I did have some, but they were kind of getting worn out. And what I do know is that when you do hand sew things, it's extremely important that you have good quality and needles. And John and James are having some really, really nice needles. It's a good, solid English brand of, of needles. At least that's my impression. Um, and this package contains tapestry size 16, so that's blunt points with large eyes, used for plastic canvas and stitching knitted items. You have embroidery sizes 3 and 7, fine needles with very long eyes, used for embroidery, crevel, smocking and general purpose sewing. Then you have darners, which is size 18, so they are long needles with long eyes and sharp points, used for, for example, doll making. You have betweens, which are size 7, short needles used for hand quilting and detailed handwork. Then you have chenille, that's sizes 20 and 22, so they are sharp points with large eyes for crevel and hand wicking. And then you have tapestry sizes 18, 20, 22, 24, blunt points with large eyes counted for cross stitch and needle point. And you have bearding, which is size 10. A fine long needle for threading beads or pearls. So a really good assortment of needles. And I think I paid like, I don't know, three and a half euros for it. So a good price for something quite useful. Then I also needed some uh, thread to help me sew things together. I do have a white thread laying around, but I wanted a, a more gray thread. So I just ordered a thread here, uh, which is... Um, Apo Almond Thread. It's a thousand meters of 100% polyester. I should probably have done cotton just to keep the concept. Um, but yeah, it's going to be kind of inside at a place where you really barely can't see it. And this color sort of matches um, quite closely to, to the color that I am crocheting. And so that was why I decided to get some thread. The last thing I'm most curious about is the crochet hooks I ordered. So I've heard lots of positive words about clover crochet hooks. So I got a full assortment of clovers. I have been looking for a while to get the clover soft touch crochet hooks. 
mainly because they are in sizes that I do not have in my um, crochet hoop collection. So they have the sizes of like, let's say, 2.25 millimeters, 2.75 millimeters, 3.25 millimeters at 3.75 millimeters. So these are these half sizes between the normal standard sizes. I am unsure if they are called anything fancy in American terms, like you have these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and so on hooks. I'm very sorry if I do not know the correct terms for these. I just know crochet hooks by millimeters. So I got a collection of these um, Clover soft touch crochet hooks. Um, but since I am a collector, I decided to get the whole collection. So here I have a five millimeter hook, um, which is a size H because here they're nice. They write it on them. So this is a size H hook. I haven't taken them out and tried to hold them. I just heard lots of positive things about these clover hooks. Um, so this is a size H or five millimeters. Then I have here a two millimeter and it does not have a size on it. It says you, uh, 1001 upstairs here, um, but it's a two millimeter hook. So this is the smallest one that they offer. And it is a very small hook for sure. It does look like, no, it is not completely in line, but it's not that bad either. Regardless, I am still curious how this is going to be working together. Um, but I basically got one of each in the sizes because, yeah, I wanted it. So three millimeters I have here. And it also doesn't have anything else. I have a 3.25 millimeter here, which is one I didn't have size wise. And that's a D hook. Um, and then I got a five and a half millimeter here, which is the I hook for the Americans. So let me, I should actually just line them up nicely. So that's an I hook, five and a half millimeters. Then I have here a 2.25 millimeter hook, which is a B. So that's a B hook. I have here the C, which is 2.75. Then I have an F. The F is 3.75, at least according to Chloe, of course. You know, for me, it could be anything. I just know them as millimeters. I have the G hook here, which is the four millimeter hook. Then I have a two and a half millimeter hook. It does not have a letter. So maybe it's actually us European having funny sizes. I don't know. Um, let me know if you know. Then I have here a J hook, which is the six millimeters. If I remember right, the six millimeters is the largest hook they do provide in this collection. So that's the six millimeter hook. Then I have the four and a half millimeter hook, which is, it says it's a seven, but I don't know if it's a seven, but it's a four and a half millimeter hook. And then I have one more hook left and that's a three and a half millimeter hook. And the three and a half millimeter hook is a so-called US size E. So basically, I am very curious to see how these hooks feels when you unbox them and I am having various projects going on right now so let's see if I can actually oh they are all they are all having these closing knits um, for each of the boxes so I can't like that easily take out one without ripping up the whole package um, but I have the whole collection of Clover soft touch crochet hooks now um, and since a lot of the yarns are from uh, Pleta yarns, when I do the Pleta yarn hauls, they come with um, yeah, quite thin um, sport waist fingering weight yarns where they often recommend like crochet hooks uh, of two to three millimeters. I now have this nice collection of smaller crochet hooks, but of in between sizes, which I am really, really, really happy about. Um, so now the next question will be, of course, if I enjoy crocheting with these crochet hooks. And what I think I will do is that I will sometime out in the future offer you guys my review of these Clover soft touch crochet hooks. Because, yeah, now I have them and I have the whole collection. So I will, of course, let you know what I think about them. But I um, only heard a lot of good stuff about Clover. And um, I thought it was finally time to add them to my collection, especially because Linda Hoppy, 
which where I bought these crochet hooks, they had 30% discount on these hooks. Like I've looked them for for them. They they sell them at Hoppy, they sell them on Amazon, etc. But this price that I paid for these hooks is absolutely the best deal I've been able to find so far. And when they had these guys on sale, I was like, okay. Stina, it's time to get that whole collection. So here I am, I got the whole collection. So um, that was it for this time. If you enjoy yarn talks, yarn contents, reviews, giveaways and much more, I do urge you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. It was an absolute pleasure sharing my haul slash accessory haul, yarn haul, accessory haul here with you guys. And I am looking forward to share more progress of everything here in my order. Um, and so we'll see you again. Have a great time. Happy crocheting, happy crafting, happy knitting, whatever you're going to do. And stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye.